Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is off topic so it's not fragrance related so I'm not sure that this is a good idea to put this on my channel because generally these kind of videos they bomb, <laughs> they really don't do well but I'm just really excited about this package that I've got and I wanted to share it so it might not be for my usual subscribers but maybe uh, someone who is really into this brand will find this on YouTube and enjoy it because I have been watching so many Cezanne unboxings and hauls on YouTube because I've just suddenly discovered this brand and really just, I don't know, become obsessed in a very short space of time. This top is by Cezanne. This is my very first and only, apart from what's in the box here, my very first and only purchase and it's actually second hand from eBay so I will show you the jumper it's not one that's currently stocked it's called the Augustus jumper uh, Cezanne used lots of natural fibers um, I think this one's got mohair in it and some other some other animal wool type stuff I can't be bothered to find out right now but I really love this and I just uh, I've come across Cezanne because of watching sort of YouTubers that I enjoy that talk about style and fashion, Lydia Tomlinson being one of them, but quite a few keep on mentioning this brand and I got curious. So I've ended up buying a few bits and pieces. So let's just get into it. I've got a massive box here. Logistically, I don't know how I'm going to show you me unboxing it because it is, it's huge. There's only three things that I've ordered, but one of them's probably the reason why this box is so big. So I'm going to unbox it. You won't see me doing this because it's too much. Um, I've been buying a lot of clothes lately. Usually my obsession is perfume and I tend to walk around in Primark clothes, fast fashion. Uh, I could be wearing a £300 perfume and a £5 top. So that's how it's usually, that's how it usually goes with me. And I know I'm not the only one. If that's you, let me know. But on this, uh, since just before Christmas, I really just started getting into clothes. So we are into the box. And what I like about this brand is that you can do free returns. I think we're going to put the box on the floor. Let me, I'll show you. Show you now. That's so we've got a separately tissue wrapped stuff. It's wrapped in tissue. Now I heard that they sent their boxes with their own fragrance. They do have a fragrance. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be a floral woody musk. A fairly simple fragrance, but a lot of people like it and it's very affordable as well. So I'm curious to try that but I do not detect any scent from this box. So I'm guessing that they haven't scented my package. So I'm gonna undo the tissue and show you the first thing that I have here. And it's a shirt, it's a sort of denim, very light denim. I don't even know if it'll fit me. I don't know how their sizes work. Uh, so this is, an, oh, I think it's organic cotton. Uh, so it's a chemise mix, Max, it's a Max shirt. So they, all their clothes have a name, um, girls and boys names. So this is the Max shirt and it's in this denim colour. Looks quite generous. I think they're supposed to be oversized. Oversized seems to be the thing currently. Um, I wanted a really light denim shirt that just falls nicely this might be it i'll try it on in a minute but there we go for now uh, it's got cute little white but shiny buttons what suzanne seemed to do is uh is lots of very fine details so rather than everything being sort of like crazy in your face they might do quite a lot of quite classic um you know, standard kind of clothes that you put in your capsule wardrobe, but the details, the attention to detail is where it's at. And um, so yeah, with that, we have these gorgeous white buttons with the silver outline. So that's the Max shirt. Now what's next? This I'm so excited about. This is the Rebecca cardigan. Uh, 
and if she is, if here is Rebecca, welcome to my home, Rebecca. And I saw this on, it might, I'm not sure which YouTuber it was. I've seen a couple of YouTubers, uh, a lady called Quan, Quantil, Quantel, um, has this, and a, I think one or two others, I've seen it on YouTube and absolutely loved it. So I got this in large. I usually buy size 14 clothes, top and bottom. Occasionally I might get away with 12 on top. Um, I think large is about the 14, but apparently their knitwear can come up quite big and stretchy. So uh, we shall see. And so let me just read you the, what this is actually made of. So I think the, the thing that I'm now starting to pay attention to that I didn't when I was buying Primark and Dorothy Perkins clothes is the material, the what it's actually composed of. So this is 50% merino wool and 50% cotton. So it's a wool and cotton mix. It has these, these buttons like this. And yeah, I will be trying that on in just a second. It's gorgeous in real life, quite weighty. And then finally, the one thing, Oh, so what happened? I saw these on the website and I just thought, I really want these. They're not the most practical thing in the world. I can't justify the cost, but I really want them. So I saved the picture as my screensaver and I just thought, well, just put a load of stuff on eBay and try and make the money back that way and justify it a little bit more. So I haven't quite made all the money that these cost, but I've made some. So. I let myself buy them. Kind of hoping they don't fit or they don't look good because they are expensive. Um, right, they're in a box. So they're, they're shoes, they're boots in fact. They are, they're called the Teddy. I think they're called the Teddy boot or the Teddy heel. And they're not just a normal color. Oh, but they're darker than I thought. Okay, let me show you. There we have it. I'm actually disappointed. I thought they were going to be a paler blue. So already, I'm not sure. They also look quite big. They're a 39 or a 6. Both, both the same. There is, they should be a 6. I am a 6. So, um, yeah. Uh, there's a texture to the bottom, not really grippy, but a little tiny bit grippy. Um, they're lovely. They're really lovely. I was hoping they'd be more, like closer to the colour of my nails. So the fact that they almost look grey. I mean, this is going to look great with blue and grey. I'd say it's like a grey blue. I do like it, but it's not quite the shade I thought it was when I saw it on the screen. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try them all on now and we'll see. Ignore any camel toe. I wouldn't normally go out in leggings with all of that exposed, but I just wanted to show off the contrast of the boots because I tried them on over jeans and you couldn't really see them because they were the same colour. So I've put on these light leggings so you can see the boot. This one I can't get up. So whether this leg is fatter than this one, I don't know. They're too tight on my calf. I can just, oh, I can just about get it up, but it's probably gonna cut off my circulation. I know leather stretches. Um, I don't like the fact that they feel quite loose around this part. And my big toe is touching the end here. So the fit's not good for me. Um, I think they're very attractive boots, but fortunately they don't fit right and that's saving me £290. <laughs> so yeah, but here they are on. If, <laughs> if you are interested, that's what they look like on me, a size 14. Not exactly French girl, thin girl. So what girl? bloody middle-aged woman um yeah that's them 
So this is the Max shirt. And obviously it's just tucked out at the moment because it looks better with leggings tucked out for reasons we already know. Uh, quite like it with the boots, although I'm definitely not keeping the boots. They're not that comfortable. I walked up the stairs just now and there's not much range of movement in there for my feet to do what they normally do when they walk. So yeah, not um, boots aren't great for me, but I really like this shirt and it is expensive for me. So as I say, Primark shopper, <laughs> Dorothy Perkins shopper. But, uh, so to spend nearly a hundred pounds on a shirt is, is quite a leap, but I do, it do, it's doing what I wanted it to do. It's nice. I can give it a little steam so it looks a bit better. It's obviously got fold marks in it. These are poppers. Um, I like that I've just got a body on underneath like a, one of these tops, showing off my fat bits. Um, I like that I could just do it, can't pop it. I could have it sort of like loosely done up. Like that. I can roll up the old sleeves, or push up the old sleeves a little bit. Um, yeah, I really like, I like this. I like the colour. I really wanted light denim, like light as in material weight, but also colour wise, light blue denim shirt. And it just feels really nice. I love the fit. It's like, I've got loads of room, so it's definitely oversized. Um, yeah, I really like that. I think it's a keeper. What do you think? Let me know. Oh my God, as soon as I put this on, I knew I had to have it. Don't look at my, <laughs> don't look at my lower lower area. But oh my gosh, I love it. So um, let's make sure it does up nicely. So I mean, you could wear this numerous ways. You could wear it completely undone with a nice top underneath. You could just do the top button and have like a camisole. Like imagine, imagine I've got nice trousers on. <laughs> um, and of course you can do it up completely. It fits perfectly. The material feels beautiful. It's um, soft. Actually, does it fit perfectly? It's starting to feel a little, it's got a lot of stretch in it. I just love, I think what sold it to me is this, A, this shoulder detail and then this roping down here. It's just, I like the way, the way that it kind of like broadens up my shoulders and the way it comes in, I feel like that's a little slim in. And of course we can just undo a few top buttons. And I love it. Let me know what you think. Do this, just leave it loose, whatever. <laughs> I think I'm in love. So yeah, I'd love to know what you think. But for me, the two tops are keepers and the boots are absolute no-no for various reasons as discussed, although they are beautiful. They are beautiful, but yeah, this top makes me feel so fancy. It really does. So excuse Hetty in the background, but here's the top with jeans, which is obviously how I'm more likely to wear it. And I've put on these Clark's loafers, which I love, they're quite new as well. Um, to tie in the colour, the biscuity beige colour. And yeah, I am just loving this top. I just think, Hetty, say hello to Hetty. And there's a pair of socks over in there. Uh, absolutely love this. Let's see if I can show you the backs. Fairly plain, but you obviously the shoulder details these sort of stick out but yeah love it could put a biscuity belt on as well maybe brown belt something like that but yeah really really love this and then this is the max shirt so this is it just untucked and i quite like it it's like you're you know you're wearing your boyfriend's shirt kind of thing But 
but let's so the double denim look here as well which is coming in isn't it i don't know the two different colored denims i quite like it let me know what you think about that and i'm going to try tucking it in now started with a kind of quick tuck <laughs> front tuck and there's a lot of material to tuck in although i have heard people say that they tuck tops under their bras and i did try that the other day but um yeah this i don't think this is quite working and uh, this is it just rolled up tucked underneath the top so i've pulled the the body up and that is that I just feel like it's emphasizing this area so I'm not sure I'm keen on that yeah I think I'm just gonna wear it like this this is how I'm most comfortable but let me know what you think and would you keep this top or not is it special enough for the price these lovely shiny buttons a little bit of detailing here as well. Yeah, I like it. So that was my first ever haul from Suzanne. I really enjoyed playing with those new clothes. Definitely sending the boots back. Pretty sure I'm keeping this and I'm definitely keeping the cardigan. That's that's given me life. <laughs> a cardigan, cardigan is giving me life. Have you tried this brand before? What are your favourites from them? And that's it really. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Bye.